have here will take us very far. Madam Speaker, I wish to stand to support this adjournment motion. Uh, reason being, uh, Madam Speaker, and before I say the reason, let me put for record here. There are people who are asking why is Fatuma Dulo opposing these formulas that have been introduced by the Committee of Finance. Madam Speaker, I support the government of the day 150%, if there is some, anything like 150%. But I am elected by Isiolo people to come and represent their interest here. And that is the reason why I'm opposing this amendment by the Committee of Finance. Madam Speaker, for the record, and I'm repeating it again, my county is losing 869 million with a budget of 4.2 million, which clearly means if this amendment goes through, Madam Speaker, we are going to close down our county as far as operation and development is concerned. Madam Speaker, we have our colleagues who are out there, who are not in this house, and the reason why we adjourn this morning, more so Senator Lelegwe, whose county is losing, and he's not in this house, uh, in this house to represent his people, which is really unfortunate. Number two, Madam Speaker, there are two senators who have said, in the interest of this house and in the interest of Kenyans, they will support with those who are opposing. Madam Speaker, let people not be selfish, especially those who are thinking that certain formula is better than the other. Madam Speaker, for as long as we have 316.5 million allocated to counties, there is no way that we are not going to lose money if that formula is going to be used. Madam Speaker, Senator Malala, he gave an authority to his nominated senator. And Senator uh, Langat did the same. There are those who are thinking, because the authority was there before, and I want to preempt this, they feel like, you know, Madam Speaker, that they can use that against the numbers on the other side. Let me tell you, my colleagues, with all due respect, you don't have numbers. Reason being, Senator Malala has withdrawn his authority simply because he's the leader of the delegation. Number two, Senator Langat has also withdrawn. And if people are going to use the letters that were given this morning, and I want to set a president that was actually uh, ruled in this house. Last Senate, when the votes were not telling, Madam Speaker, Senator Obure, on the floor of the house, authorized his senator for Kisi, uh, Kisi then to vote on his behalf. And I hope those who are thinking they are going to use authority of Langata or disregard the authority that was withdrawn to carry the vote of today, you are wrong. It will not happen because there is already a president on this floor, on this floor of the house. Madam Speaker, I want to urge my colleagues. We have said that we have to be each other's keeper. What we have on the floor of this house today is dividing this country. It's dividing the senators. Uh, Senator Hachi, are you on a point of order or contribution? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you a chance to contribute. Madam Speaker, last week we adjourned simply because some people didn't want to, the, the, the solution that was going to come out of that discussion. Today, we have a real genuine reason that we want to adjourn this house. And we have said, 
in all fairness, in respect for the people of Bomet, and I've seen on the social media, by the way, there is burning going down in Bomet. In fairness to the people of Kakamega, who are represented here, Madam Speaker, in fairness to Samburu people, whose senator is not in this house, Madam Speaker, we have all the reason to adjourn this motion. And I beg you, Madam Speaker, and I urge my colleagues, let us not have this motion or this formula divide this house. Let us reason together. I was in the last Senate and I had been in this, I'm in this Senate right now. We've never had in history of this country what is happening today in the Senate. Madam Speaker, I request our colleagues who have taken hard stand simply on selfish interest to change their position and look at the bigger picture of this country and the bigger picture of uh, this Senate. And more so, the counties where we represent. How does it feel the plate of uh, Ugali on the table is taken away from you and given to a county that is actually getting more than you? That is what the formula is all about. Madam Speaker, in all fairness, I urge you, let us adjourn this house and come to reasoning. I thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator of Tanariva, Wario College. Asante Mheshimiwa Speaker kwa kunipatia nafasi hii. Ah uh, Mheshimiwa Speaker nimesimama hapa kideti ili kuweza kupinga, kupinga uh, wale wenzetu ambao walishikwa. Ah uh, Mheshimiwa Speaker mimi ninaunga mkono kabisa uh, mswada wa kuakhirisha um, jambo ambalo liko mbele yetu. Ah um, wa speaker. Haiwezi kawa ni kwa bahati mbaya. Seneta watatu ambao wanawakilisha jimbo lao kushikwa siku ya leo. Ambao wote sisi tunajua wanapiga kura kwa upande mmoja. Mheshimiwa speaker Senator wa Kakamega alishikwa kwa sababu alikuwa anagawanya sanitizers jana basi angekuwa ameshikwa jana akaachiliwa leo sababu jana hakukuwa na huu mswada hapa katika bunge lakini leo huu mswada uko hapa bungeni kwa nini ashikwe leo ili aweze kukosa kupiga kura ah wa speaker watu wa Samburu watu wa Kakamega wamedhulumiwa kwa sababu walipigia kura maseneta wao ili waje wawakilishe hapa ikiwa watu hao leo hawapatikani hapa kupiga kura basi inaonyesha ya kwamba uh, watu wa Kakamega hawako katika eh, jambo hili la ugavi ya rasilmali na watu wa Samburu pia hawako katika ugavi huu wa rasilmali ya leo. Kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba hapa hakuna haki ambayo imetendeka. Mheshimiwa speaker. Kwa kweli a, wacheni tuakhirishe ili mpaka siku ile watawaachiliwa hawa watu ndio bunge iweze kurudi tuje tuje tuzungumze mambo haya. Sababu a, tukiwa seneta watatu hawatapatikana hapa basi haki haijatendeka na sisi ah uh, uh, point of order seneta Kidiomi and uh, according to I'm studying, uh, uh, I'm studying on uh, studying on done number 104 that the mover that the question be now put on this debate. Uh, Honorable Senators, I would like to allow 
Senator College first to finish what he's saying, then I can react to that. Uh, kwa kweli, uh, asante sana mwishumi wa speaker. Tunataka ya akhirishwe. Ili sukuile ambao hao watu watatu watawachiliwa, senators. Ndiyo huu hu, msada uregeshwe tena. Asante kwa kunipatia na fasi. Uh, thank you, senators. Had I called the name of Abshiro? Yeah, I think Abshiro had been ticked. But I want to ask senators because... Uh, some members are feeling that we should put the question now. Can we, can we agree? S Senators, I want a compromise. Can I take two from this side and two from this side? Okay, uh, because Senator Abshiro is still on the way coming, Senator Abshiro can come from the other chamber. I would like to give to the Senator of Mombasa, Mwinyi Mohamed Faki. Asante the speaker kwa kunipa fursa hii kuchangia. And please, three minutes timed. Madam Speaker, nilikuwa hapa wikiliokwisha. Nikabofia, nikabofia, paka bunge likairishwa sikuweza kuongea. Leo nimekuwa hapa mapema kabisa kabla ya saa tatu, nikabofia, nikabofia sikupa kuongea. Kwa hiyo member na speaker, ningeombo unipe dakika tano kama alizopewa wengine. Kwanza ni kuunga mkono hoja ya kuairisha mjadala ambayo imeletwa bungeni na seneta Tharakanithi, seneta Kindiki. Mheshimiwa speaker ni masikitiko makubwa kwamba siku kama ya leo ambao bunge la senate linakaa Maseneta watatu wameweza kushikwa usiku wa manane. Polisi wamekwenda majumbani mwao usiku wa manane kama ambao ni halifu wa halifu wa kubwa kabisa wa kivita. Mheshimiwa speaker jambo hili si geni. Usiku wa jana wa juzi kwa mkia jana. Polisi hawa hawa walivamia madrasa kule Kilifi Mtondia. Usiku wa manane wakapiga watu wakavunja milango baadaye wakachukua walimu watatu wa madrasa ile bila ya kujulikana wamekwenda wapi mpaka leo. Kwa hiyo mheshimiwa speaker kitendo kama hichi lazima tukikemee kwa sababu polisi lengo lao ni kuweka usalama. Ni masikitiko pia mheshimiwa speaker kwamba maseneta wetu ambao walikuwa Nairobi wote wamechukuliwa kiholela kupelekwa katika kaunti zao za nyumbani. Bila ya kufuata taratibu zozote. Mheshimiwa speaker makosa aliyofanya si makosa ya jinai. Ni makosa madogo madogo ambayo hata bondi wangeweza kupewa ili waweze kuja mahakamani siku ambayo polisi watakuwa tayari kuweza kuwashtaki. Kwa hiyo mheshimiwa speaker tunaunga mkono kuahirishwa kwa kikao hichi kwa sababu yaliyofanyika leo ni mambo ambayo ni kinyume na sheria na vile vile pia ni kinyume cha uhuru wa demokrasia. Demokrasia inasema kwamba mwakilishi lazima apewe nafasi ya kutoa maoni ama kuunga mkono mswada anaotaka katika bunge bila ya kushurutishwa kwa njia yoyote. Mheshimiwa speaker ikiwa maseneta wako tayari kuja bungeni na wanaweza kuzuiliwa na polisi majumbani mwao. Hiyo ina maana kwamba hatuna uhuru wa demokrasia katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Mheshimiwa speaker uhuru wa demokrasia sio kura tu kila baada ya miaka mitano ambazo kura zile pia zinaibiwa na watu hawana mahali pa kwenda kudai haki ya kura zile. Mheshimiwa speaker uhuru wa demokrasia ni kwa yule mwakilishi apoe nafasi na uwezo wa kuweza kuhudhuria bunge na kuishi, na kujadili vikao miswada ambayo inakuja katika bunge lile bila ya kushurutishwa kwa njia yoyote. Mheshimiwa speaker kitendo ambacho tumeoa leo ni kuwa hakuna uhuru wa demokrasia katika bunge letu. Mheshimiwa speaker kwa kumalizia ni kuwa sisi kama maseneta tuna haki ya kuunga mkono upande wote ambao tunataka kuunga. Na watu wasitishane kwamba wao sijui chama kiko hivi. Chama ni nguo tu tunavaa na kwenda na kuvua. Lakini tunasema kwamba lazima tupewe uhuru wetu kama maseneta kujadili miswada katika bunge vile ambavyo tunavyopenda. Na nafikiri mheshimiwa speaker kuahirishwa kwa kikao hichi au mjadala huu utatupa fursa sisi kama maseneta kukaa chini tena ili tuweze kuwa na mwafaka wa kuweza kusonga mbele. Hii mambo ya kuvutana kila mara haitatusaidia sisi kwa sababu ndio maana tunadaumiana tuna sisi wenyewe kwenyewe lakati 
wakati wale ambao wana nafasi ya kushuluhisha mambo haya na kuongeza pesa katika kaunti zetu wamekaa raha mustarehe katika ofisi yao. Asante bi speaker. Ah uh, Senator Abshiro. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this debate. Madam Speaker, for the last few sittings, I've been sitting very quietly listening to the debate, and I'm in awe of some of the great orations of my colleagues. But Madam Speaker, sometimes great orations capture, don't only just capture the truth of the time or the truth of the debate, they also capture the big lies. Madam Speaker, there's just so many things I'm very saddened with. As people stand in this house and speak untruths and dishonest positions, Madam Speaker, and to take the citizens of this country as fools. Madam Speaker, if there's one place that the intelligent people is a 254, as the youth of this country will say. So today, I would like to say, Madam Speaker, first of all, I, I stand to support the adjournment motion and to say that what has become, what has been done to our colleagues is really unacceptable and we condemn it in the highest and the, and the toughest, you know, um, language possible. Madam Speaker, allow me to just go to a very, um, you know, to, to, to go to one of those confessionals by this German uh, pastor, uh, Martin. Uh, this has been said over and over again in this, on this space. First, they came for the communists, and I did not speak out because I am not a communist. They then came for the socialists. I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. They then came, came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak because I'm not a trade unionist. They came for the Jews. I didn't speak because I wasn't a Jew. And when they came for me, there was nobody left to speak for me. Madam United Senators have been accused of being disloyal or disobedient. Madam Speaker, that is furthest from the truth. Madam Speaker, the kind of obedience or loyalty that is born of fear and self-preservation is no loyalty at all, and I don't subscribe to that kind of loyalty. Madam Speaker, today I stand here more loyal than the government of Kenya, the president of the Republic of Kenya, and my party leader, more than anybody else. And it, my track record shows it. Madam Speaker, but I am a very lucky person. My party leader doesn't just inspire obedience and demand it because he knows the fallacy of forced and narrow obedience that is born of self-interest and self-preservation. He knows that great leaders don't really focus on those. It's the bad leaders who focus on these things. The good leaders inspire principled behavior in their people, and that is what my party leader supports in me. And therefore, I can stand here and say, without fear of persecution, that I oppose this, I, I support the motion to adjourn, I support my colleagues to be released immediately, and that this country is given the rightful leadership it deserves. Madam Speaker, you know, they say the number one value, the best value in a leader is courage, for it ensures all other values. Today, this House needs to be courageous and do the right thing, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I have listened to people I adored, to people I looked up to, to people I really loved to serve, who are about to become monsters of Kenyan history. They were yesterday's angels. They were yesterday's freedom fighters. But history will judge them so tough, they'll become monsters of hindsight of history. Madam Speaker, I refuse to become one of the monsters of, of history of this country. I stand with the people of Kenya. I stand with people of Isiolo. I stand with people of Mandera. I stand with people, and I stand with people of Kiambu too. Because when discrimination or injustice is made systemic, tomorrow it will be the people of Kiambu who will be crying the way the people of the 18 counties that are getting less money are crying today. Nobody should rest. Nobody should rest, Madam Speaker, if an injustice is being made systemic, because for whatever reason, that sword will be turned on anybody who is party to that. And people of Kiambu deserve better. They don't need a formula that robs other people. They don't need... And one of the things, Madam Speaker, before I sit, because my time is running out, 
the one shilling, one man, one vote, whatever, is not for the people. It is for the self-interest and self-preservation of the political class that are trying to make these people, people think that it's for them. It is not for the citizens. It is not for the people that it's being purported to be. It is for the political class.